My name is Chaplain Captain Pratima Dharm, and I'm the first Hindu chaplain in the United States Army. I am assigned to the dialysis clinic. My role is to kind of help them find meaning in the present medical condition. According to my belief system, I like to stay in the now and just live one day at a time. And that's how I can live it fully. I came to the United States in 2001, and that's when the 911 happened. And uh, that shook me. That, that really impacted me emotionally and uh, spiritually. And um, I felt really drawn to do something for this country. I was born and raised in a Hindu family. And then um, I chose to follow uh, the way of Christ uh, for some years and, and trained um, within churches, studied in a, at a seminary. My identity is holistically grounded in the Vedas and the message of Christ has only um, enriched my broader uh, foundation as far as any paradigm of religion or faith or spirituality is concerned. Then again, that has been part of my story too, that I come from a family that is um, very influenced by Gandhi. My grandfather knew Gandhi and uh, Gandhi was really fascinated by Christ and the Bible. As I felt called and I was, you know, I would talk to people around me, I felt directed towards chaplaincy. Later on, I went on to gain my experience in a civilian hospital. That's another avenue and a very powerful way to minister to people because uh, they're really vulnerable when they're experiencing a medical condition that sometimes they don't have answers for. You know, you have the doctors telling them they're going to die and uh, they need hope, they need faith, and, and they begin to dig into things that they had never dug into for years because uh, they, they were not faced with their mortality. Sort of the same concept applies here as well in, within a military hospital. When it comes to the relationship with God and loving God with all your heart, there is no method but to get down and get wet. You know, it's like when you want to swim, you have to get in the water. Human dignity is above all the greatest gift that you can ever give to anybody. You can look at it as a faith gift or religious gift or just being part of the human condition. I think my greatest challenge as a Hindu chaplain is how do I bring across the message of uh, solidarity, of pluralism, of, of the, the core values that are meaningful to me and put it out there um, without causing conflict and move towards a better understanding because that's the core of me, who I am as a person, as, as an as a, as a acharya, as a teacher. Uh, within my own denomination or, or faith tradition. The Hindus in the army, the way they look at me, um, you know, when they learn that there is a Hindu chaplain, there is a lot of excitement. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of, uh, oh, this is a good turn for America. We have about 1,000, uh, you know, service members right now. And we are growing. But I think when they hear that there is a Hindu chaplain, there is that, uh, feeling of affinity towards the United States military, that the military also cares enough uh, for the different uh, ethnic groups that are there or the different cultures, the different religions that, are, uh, that have come to live in the United States over time. And so that only draws them to look at the military in a positive light.